southwest monsoon has finally reached the national capital providing the much needed relief from the scorching summer heat as of today morning the southwest monsoon has covered most parts of the country the northern limit of the monsoon now passes through porbandar in gujarat to udaipur in rajasthan to narnaul in haryana to firozpur in punjab and according to the latest update by imd it is most likely to cover uh, the remaining parts of punjab and haryana and some more parts of gujarat and rajasthan over the next 4 to 5 days during which the monsoon conditions are likely to be very active while this is definitely a reason to cheer considering the uh, sluggish pace of the monsoon ever since it made its onset over kerala if you remember the onset over kerala was delayed by almost a week but suddenly last week conditions became favorable for the progress of the monsoon it covered large parts of north eastern states creating deluge in assam and other neighboring states and progressed into the indo gangetic plains this sunday it reached the national capital but what was most unusual about this monsoon was that the onset of rains happened over delhi the same day as it happened over mumbai which is quite unique so to put things into perspective the seasonal rains commence over delhi around june 27 this time it happened two days early but that for mumbai begins around june 11 and this time it was delayed by two weeks now according to imd scientists this is a rare occurrence and the last time it happened when the seasonal rains commenced over both the cities on the same day was in Uh, was on June 21st 1961 about 60 years ago so we spoke to a lot of scientists both from IMD and other scientists to understand what led to this unusual behavior of the monsoon so if you remember just when the monsoon was bracing up to impact kerala and bring heavy rains over the state a cyclone was brewing in the arabian sea yes i'm talking about cyclone bipper joy which became one of the most long lasting cyclone over the arabian sea and it also became a very severe cyclone as it continued to gain intensity while moving in the ocean towards the gujarat coast it eventually made its landfall uh, on the gujarat coast and uh, brought heavy rain and destruction in the coastal areas but what is most important is that the cyclone did affect the monsoon it ended up absorbing a lot of moisture from the monsoon current so as a result the west coast of india did not receive the amount of rain that it should have received the arabian sea arm of the monsoon remained weaker second is that what scientists point out is that the unusual tilt in the monsoon trough so so when the monsoon is progressing over the indian mainland there are two arms to it so while the bay of bengal arm remained pretty active also because of the formation of a low pressure area the arabian sea arm remained weak so while the monsoon was progressing well into the north eastern area then the central parts of india and the northwest india its progress from the western coast remained slow so another important observation made by uh, climate scientists is uh, that extreme weather events or are the rare occurrences like this which used to happen once in a century could now happen once in a few decades which is also happening because of the warming in the oceans and climate change impacting the weather dynamics and of course the monsoon so that is what we probably saw this time while it's difficult to make a very direct observation because monsoon as we all know it's progress over the indian mainland differs from year to year there are inter annual variations and we cannot definitely deny the impact of climate change which does have an impact on the weather events and the climate overall that's all for today thank you so much for watching cnn news 18 keep reading our stories on news18.com for more such updates